The following is from the audiobook, The Anointing, by Benny Hinn. To learn how to get the entire audiobook and 50 other godly Christian audiobooks by God Sounds absolutely free, watch the end of this video. The amount we can give away is limited, so please act soon if you would like these audiobooks for your personal growth in the Lord Jesus Christ. Enjoy. In my previous book, Good Morning Holy Spirit, I emphasized the reality of the Holy Spirit as God, an equal member of the Trinity, a person as real as, if not more so, than you or I. My purpose in that book was to acquaint you with the Spirit and to lead you into the experience of His presence. My purpose in the anointing is to further that beautiful, ongoing relationship and lead you into the reality of the power to serve the Lord Jesus in His particular calling on your life. The power is the anointing of the Holy Spirit as promised by Jesus after His resurrection. Quote, Ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me. Acts 1 verse 8 I think we all agree that if there ever was a time when the body of Christ needed power, this is it. Only the miracle-working power of Almighty God can roll back the tide of sin and disease flooding the world in every corner. Weakness is not our inheritance as Christians, yet many of us have settled for just that. The Bible says our witness to Christ can be confirmed with signs following Mark 18, verse 20. Fulfillment of that promise is the purpose of the anointing of the Spirit, and equipping you with this hidden treasure is the purpose of this book. First, there must be the presence, and then comes the anointing. The anointing is not the baptism of the Holy Spirit, although that is important. The anointing is the power, the power to serve God. You will know assuredly when the presence of the Holy Spirit has come upon your life, for you will have sweet fellowship. And you will know immediately when He has empowered you spiritually, mentally, and physically to battle demons and disease. Make no mistake about it. God wants you to have these two great gifts. This will become real as you read on. You have life-changing moments ahead. May the Lord bless you in every way as you go forward step by step. We serve a wonderful and powerful God. Hi, William Crockett, co-founder of God Sounds. If you like what you just heard, you can have the entire audiobook plus 50 other godly Christian audiobooks absolutely free um, because of our work with Audible We've been given thousands of promo codes to give away to our friends, family, and supporters. And you don't need a paid membership with Audible, a trial membership, or anything like that. You just need a free Amazon or Audible account, and then simply apply the codes we give you to your account and have a library of godly Christian classics like John G. Lake, Smith Wigglesworth, Leonard Ravenhill, Benny Hinn, John Wesley, Early Christians, um, just uh, so, so, so much um, that we want you to have because we don't want them to go to waste. We have a limited amount. At the recording of this video, we have about 30 sets, and each set is about 50 Christian audiobooks. So that means 30 people can have these audiobooks. Now, if they are out, we'll put in the description below, we'll plan to, and say that we are out of codes. So if you don't see that, there's a good chance that the codes are available. So simply email Jury, our publishing manager. Her email address should be on the screen and in the description below. And just request the codes from her. And she'll give you the codes plus instructions on how to use them. Uh, we pray they're a blessing uh, upon you. And also in closing, I just want to say we launched a new channel called Numa Breath. One word. And um, it's just filled with godly Christian meditations. Now, I know that can be a controversial subject, but these meditations are spirit-led, they're biblical, and they're helping people encounter God 
for many of them in a fresh new way. And so I encourage you to check out Numa Breath and encounter the Lord today. Um, that should be in the description below. So the Lord bless you, protect you, and keep you in these times. Amen.